Now, if I were to show you a badly infected computer 10 years ago, you'd be seeing about 20 prompts on the screen right now. Remember those Windows XP errors? But what if I were to tell you that this computer right here that you're looking at is terribly infected with malware? But here's something crazy. Let's go through the usual stuff. Let's open up Task Manager and see what's going on. As you can see, everything looks clean. We just look at the Microsoft process. There is nothing weird or suspicious over here. There's no random EXE running. There's no strange CPU behavior. There's no indicator to let us know that this computer might be infected. But I insist, this is a terribly infected computer. Now, I can already hear some of the malware analysts in the audience saying, hey, open up Sys internals and let's take a look at Process Explorer. So let's do that. I'm just going to open up Process Explorer and we're going to look at the virus total results for all of the process that we have on our system. And once again, there is nothing over here. Zero out of 77. Everything is clean. So where's the malware hiding? And how are we going to find it? It. Well, that's what this video is all about. I want you to watch this very carefully because this is the future of malware. Stealth is the future, be it in next generation fighter aircraft or next generation cybersecurity threats. For the first real surprise, I'm going to open up services where all your typical system services are located. It's a part of the system. And if you open this up, you can see we have a long list of things, system functions, like let's say Bluetooth, Bluetooth audio gateway service service, credential manager. But hey, look, we have Cloudflare Warp, which is obviously a third party application, but that can also create a service on your system. And guess what else can create a service on your system? Malware. So if we go through this long list, we're going to notice some weird things show up like BMW AS XNZ. Now, I don't know the last time you plugged in your Windows XP to your BMW car, but for some reason, this service looks a little suspicious to me. So we're going to double click and open it. And this is going to tell us what the service is, where it's located, and what it does. As you can see, the startup type is set to automatic, so this is executing every time the system runs. And hey, look, if we find the path to executable, it says C program data and uh, <laughs> yeah, zb.exe, whatever else is before it is beyond my powers of pronunciation. But this clearly does not look like a friendly old Microsoft service. So I'm just going to copy that path and we're gonna paste it in File Explorer and we'll try to open this folder and um, see what's in there, shall we? And look, here we have a really nice application that does not look like malware at all, does it? We can confirm this, of course, by uploading it to Virus Total, your standard malware analysis platform. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this here and let's see what it comes up with. Oh shit. 40 detections. So this is clearly malware. But if we scroll down, you can see that Microsoft or Windows Defender detects it, as do a lot of other antivirus programs. So how did it get in here in the first place? Because we do have Microsoft defending our computer with Windows Defender, and it does look like everything is enabled. I didn't see anything saying Microsoft Defender was turned off or something. So how did we get infected? Well, let's take a closer look at virus and threat protection, shall we? And if we go into the settings, look at our exclusions. Oh, why are there so many folders in the exclusions, including C Windows, C Administrator, App Data, Roaming, Users, Administrator, App Data, Local, NP updater. And I just want to say, I did not add these manually. So at some stage of the malware execution, all of these specific folders were added to exclusions in Windows Defender. Now, since the malware has been so kind to give us these very specific exclusions, now I want to visit these folders and see what might be in there. Because it does look like the malware has added some very specific folders. Like, don't look here. There's nothing to see here in Administrator, App Data, NP Update. Data. So we'll try to navigate to that. We'll have to show hidden items so we can find our app data folder, NP updater. And very interesting, we have a system driver, core.exe, and the audio service. Once again, I'm going to try to upload this to virus total, core.exe, and uh, we'll see what we find. And look at that, another piece of malware. This one's a miner. And again, it has 45 detections and is detected by Microsoft, but it's still running on our computer regardless because of this wonderful exception that has been automatically added to our Windows Defender to let it run 
and say this is a good malware and we're just scratching the surface there is a lot more malware on this computer that is active and if we were to visit our banking site our crypto wallet log in very nicely our data would go straight to the hackers and our accounts would be hacked our money would be stolen and you would never know what happened it would look like everything is normal this is modern malware this is the future of malware it's all quiet on the western front it's all quiet on your end but the screens on the attacker's end are what's lighting up with all the information they're collecting from you and hey if you've got that nice nvidia gpu they can use it to mine some crypto while you're away and once again everything is quiet when it comes to your processes there's no obvious signs of malware anywhere now back in the day when i would come across a system like this one of the first tools that i used to disinfect it was kaspersky and i'm just curious to see what would happen if we were to repeat the same process today this is a bit of nostalgia for me because i always liked the disinfection capabilities of kaspersky taking care of malware like salady on windows xp we're gonna do a scan and we'll see what we find so if you don't believe me that this system is flooded with malware wait and see what happens when we do a scan now unsurprisingly the malware actually tried to prevent the installation of the antivirus and so far we have a detection of a trojan agent and it's asking us to disinfect and restart the computer interestingly this is not any of the malware that we found so this is one that's in administrator bin dialer underscore java dot exe like i said there's a flood of malware on the system and we haven't even seen most of it looks like our old friend in program data has been picked up as a silent crypto miner it's worth noting that a lot of these crypto miners are also info stealers it's like dual purpose infrastructure what's also interesting is that until we installed a security product everything was fine on this computer it was running perfectly and now that we're actually trying to interfere with the malware the desktop background's gone all sorts of nonsense is happening i can hear the fans ramping up well that's partly because of the scan but i can also tell there's more going on so the malware really is fighting back now that we're trying to interfere with it and the fact that we needed an advanced disinfection shows that it was really dug deep in the system but you couldn't tell and that's the whole point it's stealth until it's detected very difficult to remove once you discover it but it looks like we've had some success here core.exe oh we looked at these before in the np updater folder and now it is doing a full scan which i'm sure is also going to find more stuff. But I do want to thank Kaspersky for supporting some of our educational content, informing you about new threats like this one. And if you would like to check out their advanced security products, you can do so using the link in description and you can use PC security as the code to get 15% off. It's an exclusive code just for this channel. By the way, if you're curious about the whole Kaspersky being in Russia thing, I've made a dedicated video on it to explain all my thoughts on the situation. So before you type your comment, I will link it in the description. But do like and share this video if you enjoyed it and spread the word about the malware of the future because things have changed. This is Leo. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.